Italian Americans call it gravy, and the Italians call, call it, it sauce. Ragu. Ragu. Jennifer Samana of olive oil. In. That's a beef shank. With the marrow, beautiful. Yeah. Pork for flavor. Veal chop. Yes, yeah, Sunday gravy, we call it. They would start the gravy early in the morning. And that's a good sound. I agree. That is a nice sound. It would go down to a simmer, and we'd go to church. Mm -hmm. Come home from church, my father would roll up his sleeves that he had the white shirt on. He was the gravy man? He was the, the cook. We would have dinner at 1 o'clock. That was a big family thing. Getting some nice color. Are you going to drain that oil off, or do you take all that fat in it? We're cooking all that fat in it. God, I wonder where the flavor comes from. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as you hear that pitch go up, keep the chunks. And that will simmer for about two hours. I'm not going to church, so what are we going to do for the three hours while this simmers? Make ravioli. <laughs> Ricotta. Parsley. Whole milk mozzarella. Pecorino Romano. And you fold this, kind of. Did I forget anything? Salt. I'm going to rain, just so it's evenly That's good. distributed. Stop. Like that? How about a little pepper? <laughs> <laughs> How's that? It good? It does look good and smell good. Taste. Mm. So the widest setting. I like how you're really manhandling it. You're just going. You're not afraid. It's like they say when you're on a diving board, don't be as scared. Go down another. Too thin is no good because then there's no balance. It's all filling. Mm -hmm. That's good. You can just barely see through. Mm -hmm. it. Oh. You fold over, you don't drape over. Form them. I love that. This bow constrictor ate eight little mice. <laughs> <laughs> This is my grandmother's cutter. These are grandmom's homemade ravioli. These are big. The average person is going to eat eight. When we were kids, we would count by 20s. Whoa. Oh, I ate 40. How many did you eat? Oh, my. Yes. Yeah. 